Hello everybody, Papa Pepper here. Anytime you see me with my lab coat on, I'm usually going to be sharing some sort of information, conducting some sort of experiment, or researching a certain issue. Today we're going to be talking about why scorpions glow under an ultraviolet light. Recently, I placed an order, Scorpion Master, and picked up a couple of their black light UV flashlights. They actually make these to help people detect things like pet stains, um, counterfeit money, and scorpions. I've used them before down in Texas and actually found one at night, thankfully. They come with batteries as well. So this one is going to be the 28 LED flashlight. It's purple and it's got the 28 LEDs on top. I'm about to get it loaded here. Thankfully I was able to find my own scorpion so I didn't need to order any of those. I also have a slightly larger version with the 52 LED light. We'll be using that later. Because soon I plan on taking an adventure with some of the little peppers to go locate some more scorpions in the wild. One nice thing about having children who understand a few things is they can often tell you where things are that you don't know about. The scorpions I have with me tonight are some that the little peppers told me where they were because they knew that I was looking for some. If, ooh, it's working already. So one thing about scorpions is that they are an arachnid. They have eight legs, so they're in the same classification as, uh, as spiders. And they also, as an insect, have an exoskeleton. Their exoskeleton has a certain layer in it called the hyaline layer. And there's actually chemicals in there that when they encounter a black light or the natural moonlight, they're being exposed to UV rays. Those UV rays, for one reason or another, cause it to light up and fluorescence, uh, usually like a blue-green type color. Just as if we shut off the light for a moment and you look at my shirt, you know, it's a white one anyway my lab coat, but it lights up pretty good. So, when we do the same thing with the scorpion, you'll see what happens. Now, people speculate as to why they have this capability, but, of course, that's all just speculation. We don't know for sure. So now I have a live scorpion on the floor. And one thing about live scorpions is they can get cockroach fast. There he is. Uh, sorry. There she is. But what happens if we turn off this light? It's in my hand, and all of a sudden, look at how well that lights up. Almost like my lab coat. So here you see it in my hand. When I shine the UV light at it, it gets that cool blue-green glow to it. And actually, all scorpions will light up like that. Now scorpions, uh, they're kind of a secretive little creature, and they're usually nocturnal, so you're not going to find them other than hiding during the day. At night, they'll come out, and one interesting thing is that they're less active when they're exposed to, uh, to UV light. So on a full moon or something like that, they're going to be less likely to be found out on the prowl looking for food unless they are really hungry. So when they shed their exoskeleton they're actually soft at first. Um, the same thing happens with crabs, crayfish, lobsters, things like that. The hard exoskeleton will pop off, a new one will be underneath it, and the new one will expand and be quite uh, slightly bigger than the previous one. And during that time when the first exoskeleton pops off it takes a minute for them to harden. While they're waiting for their uh, skin to harden, often they're less, less, you know, um, active because they're going to be more vulnerable as, as a prey. He's got a really good grip on me just with his legs there. But they also will not react this way to a black light or the moonlight, to UV rays, while their uh, exoskeleton, their hyaline layer, is still soft. So that's pretty peculiar there. And then, of course, people speculate, they think, why? 
Why does it respond this way to a UV light? Some people think it may help the scorpions locate one another. Some people think it may help them lure or distract their prey. And uh, some people think maybe it's just to help them sense when there's a full moon or times that they're going to be more visible at night so that they can stay hidden and not, um, not be out in the open when they're going to be more visible. I mean, obviously they're a, a smaller creature, even the biggest scorpions only usually get a few inches in length. This is the striped bark scorpion. Uh, I found my first ones down in Texas, and then I also found some here in Arkansas. Let's turn the light back on for a moment. And you may be wondering as well how I knew that this one was a mother. Well, actually she just had some babies not too long ago. So we caught her, and then she, uh, she actually gave birth to some little babies. So I'm going to let it just oof, go in my hand there. Oh, then back on the floor. Like I said, they are cockroach fast. These guys are super crazy, super fast. Um, I pick them up like this by grabbing the tail on each side of the stinger, so that way it can't get me. And, uh, and there it is. So that's just a little bit more about the chemicals in the hyaline layer of the exoskeleton of the scorpion that causes them to light up fluorescent under a black light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this one on and have my assistant flash the uh, lights on and off a few times so you can see it's it's a dark scorpion and the lights and now it's all lit up crazy. Take that away you can't even see it. Put it back on it lights up more than anything. So like I said just like my lab coat will light up so nice. So will that scorpion. And when the scorpion's on my lab coat they both light up pretty nice. So, Papa Pepper, checking out some science. Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.